Hi, I'm Sharon Collins with Georgia Outdoors. I am a dog lover, and one of my favorites is the Labrador Retriever. Now, they're family dogs. They're happy to hang out with you on the sofa, but they're also extremely athletic. You are about to see why they are called Retrievers. Here. One of the most popular breeds in the United States is the Labrador Retriever. So he's excited right now, jumping at the bit just to go. Yep, and you can see he's focused on that gun, and I'll just tell him to mark, which is his cue that something's about to happen there, right here. Mark, watch it. Jagger. How beautiful. And you can see how hard he's trying to swim because he wants to get there fast. That is beautiful to watch. The retrieve is his reward. As soon as he gets that, that's his instant reward. He doesn't need a treat back here at the line or anything like that. Even yelling good dog right now would be a little pointless. He got his reward right there. Mike Lardy is one of the top retriever trainers in the United States. In the tiny town of Boston, Georgia, we watch over and over as dogs race to get the prize. Back. Hunters love them because of that strong instinct to retrieve, be it a quail, duck, or just a piece of rubber. Yet they are so gentle, it is said they can carry an egg in their mouths without breaking the shell. Labs are great family dogs, too. Since 1992, retrievers have been listed as the most popular breed in the United States. Heel. But a retriever trained by Mike Lardy, Jagger, is a competition dog. We treat them really like full-fledged, high-class athletes. We have a conditioning program where they go on long, slow runs. We have sprint conditioning program where they'll do sprints in the water. We swim them behind the kayak for half an hour. So this is like a canine football player. This, these are, this is canine Olympics. This is the cream of the cream, these dogs that make it to this level. And even at this level, there's some dogs that are really good that you know win two or three trials a year, and there are some that maybe will just win one trial in its whole career. It's very difficult. Mike shows us how intelligent retrievers are with a training exercise that tests their memory. Yeah, that's good. Come here. Okay, uh, Michael, you can come out. We're going to have a triple, so, you, so I want you to know what's going to happen. Good. Okay, that gun is going to throw that way, middle gun is gonna to throw to the left, and that gun is gonna to throw to the right. So I'm gonna send the dog for that one when she delivers it. She's gotta remember where the other two are and go get them one at a time. We watch as the retriever in training goes straight to the first bumper. Jewel. Based on nothing more than a hand signal from Mike. So the way I like to put it is I'm helping them remember. But I, you know, if I want to go get that bird over there, I'm not going to have her back pointed over here. I'm going to come in, receive, and focus right to where the next one is. So your body language is very important. Very yes. important. And you'll see her spin around and look right out there. Good. Sit. Jewel. So now this is not as easy as the last one because the last one had just been shot and the gunner was out there. She's got to remember how far out it was. And there was only one. And she's got to remember three. So let's see what she does there. So she knows she's in there, she's looking, boom. That's a nice mark, that's a really nice mark. She remembers where the second shot came from and retrieves that bumper. Amazingly, after that, she heads to the place she heard the first gunshot come from. It is pure joy to watch these dogs train. You know, they're affectionate, and most of these dogs, people think, have the misconception that maybe field trial dogs are raised in a very sterile environment, and they're retrieving machines, and they're not, you know, they don't live the life of a regular dog. Actually, all these dogs are owned by people who bring them in the house, so they are a pet, they are like people's kids, but they're also, you know, premier athletes. 
because of their keen sense of smell and refusal to give up. Military and police forces often use them as detection dogs to track down smugglers, terrorists, or thieves. They will hold anything in their mouths, including hands and arms. Labrador retrievers are now considered the third most popular breed in the United States. Now they can be expensive if you get one from a reputable breeder, but the people who own them say they are well worth the money.